back to another AC on the go video. We're here at Dewey's Pizza doing another pepperoni pizza review. So let's go check it out. Right, so this is an upscale pizza price. As you can hear, there's copyrighted music in the background, but please wait to be seated. As you can see, there are people cooking. We're here so Thank you. So this is their kitchen. You can see that they're making pizzas, have a huge pizza oven, all their ingredients that they make the pizzas with. They normally have a bunch of dough and stuff up here, but apparently they're cleaning up um, and they're just flipping dough back there that you can see on that thing. So, but there's all the different ingredients and so forth. So we wanted to show you the menu here at Dewey's. Never request off for I have a seasonal pizza. Sorry, let me see if I can fix the glare. Nope. Kind of. There we go. Seasonal pizza is Tito Santana. There we go. It's like a taco. Looks like a taco pizza. And then you got their shallots over here. And the tips. Make sure you get the pepperoni or peppercorn ranch. It is the best salad here. And I've actually never had it, but it's the best salad here according to a of the season. The Greek salad is also really good here, and they have a really good Caesar salad, but they got a couple different choices of salad. And then you go down to the calzones, and you got Dewey's calzones coming with mozzarella and ricotta with your choice of three ingredients. Additional ingredients are 125. A bunch of different specialty pizzas. Oops, hello. Three different sizes that they come in. It is kind of on the upper end as far as pizza cost like, is concerned. Like, look at this one. It's twenty-one dollars for one pizza. I would say this is probably comparable more to like Mellow Mushroom or Twin Cities. No. More like Twin Cities, but those are in the description and up in the corner. You know, nobody can understand you when you're doing all that, right? Yeah. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Your own pizzas. They have three different sizes there, 11, 13, and 17 inch. So today for us, oh, and you can also get different sauces. They you can also get gluten free, guys. Those are 12 inch and 11 inch is a pricing of $3. Oh, gluten call. free is only $3. Why are you talking like that? And you can also get red sauce on your create your own pizza. Or Dewey's white sauce. I've never actually had that. But it is come with olive oil, so most of you are probably allergic to that. So make sure you ask your waitress or waiter if they change that by the time you're here. We also have select your toppings, regular items such as Bacon or Canadian bacon, you can only get Canadian bacon if you're from Toronto. Bacon is for the USA people, so they have different countries, so you're not left out if you're from Canada. They also have some gourmet items, such as caper corn, which is actually, or no, they don't. That's a lie. They have goat cheese, or two whatever goat, goat cheese. And uh, also, you at least just tell them what we got. Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> they also have pure water bottles. Who did that? Because you can actually get normal water for they also have pure spring water, which is very similar to what they put in to the mellow mushroom video. That will be linked in the description as we talk about all that. We also have apple juice for all those little ones out there that really likes apple juice. We also have iced tea, freshly brewed. And then we also have soda, Coke, Sprite, Barb's Root Beer, Barb's Shred, Cream Soda, Pib, Minute Maid, and Diet Coke. So here is our peppercorn ranch salad. It comes in this huge bowl when you get the regular size. And then we just divided it out, Carter and I. So we're just sharing a regular size. <clears throat> Definitely big enough for two or three people to share. So we're here with some family and they got a Don Corleone pizza, which is like um, pepperoni, salami, cheese, peppercorn. Uh, they got some mushrooms on it, ham. Looks really, really good. We got the pepperoni, with, um, half pepperoni, and then half uh, meatball. So Carter's gonna take the pepperoni, and let's give that a try. All right, so we're gonna give the pepperoni pizza a try. No. Oh, gonna eat it backwards. Nope. That was my pepperoni pizza. It's ten out of ten. Oh gosh, literally just dropped no, pepperoni no. in his lap. 
So give me your feedback on the pepperoni pizza. It's very cheesy, and I don't like very cheesy pizza, so it's going to be a low rating for me. All right, so on that it's 10 zero out to of 10, 10 pepperoni. I'm just kidding. Zero, on the 0 to 10 pepperoni scale, what do you give it? I give it a... Six. And why do you give it a six? It's an above average pizza. I would give it a seven or an eight if it didn't have so much cheese. But what is the, the tasting and the flavoring? Like, give me give me some examples here. I'm getting some pizza taste. <laughs> and the sauce. The sauce is very, not very sweet. So if you don't like sweet sauce, this is for you. The crust is very good. It's very soft, and I like that. And it's the best part of the pizza. So have to go check that out. It's very similar to the melon mushroom pizza. It's like soft. So I'm eating just bread. Basically just eating bread and sauce. All right, so I'm gonna give the pepperoni pizza a try. So it is kind of like a thin crust, except for the actual crust of the pizza in the back it is pretty thick and doughy. But the pizza itself is really thin. So here we go. That's really good. Carter's right, it is kind of a different type of crust, a uh, different type of sauce. Um, but I actually disagree with him. I think the cheese is perfect. I think a, a good pizza has to have a good cheese. And this is really good. And the pepperonis have a really good taste too. I'm not really sure what the sauce tastes like. Um, it does have kind of a tangy taste to me. Um, not, it's not really sweet, but it has, it's kind of a tang. I don't really know how else to describe it. But it is really good. I would say probably on that pepperoni scale for me, um, I'd probably give it a seven. I think it's a really solid pizza. It's definitely above average. Um, it's definitely better than any fast food pizza or, you know, Papa John's type place. Um, which, if you haven't seen any of those other pizza reviews that we've done, we'll leave some links up at the top and down in the description. You can go check out the playlist of all the different pepperoni pizza reviews that we've done. But all in all, it's a good pizza. No, just kidding. So thank you for watching our pepperoni pizza review video here at Dewey's Pizza. We had a really good time. It was some really good food. Um, the pizza was good. Carter gave it a six. I gave it a seven. <laughs> uh, the salad was really good as well that we had. Um, yeah, so what are your... No! <laughs> no. It was pretty average, but we thought it was it was a decent pizza, so we enjoyed, our, we enjoyed it. We'll definitely be back again, I'd say. And if you're in the Cincinnati area, check out a Dewey's Pizza near you. So, don't, don't forget, forget to, to turn, turn on, on the AC. AC. First try. <laughs>